Today I'm um, going uh, squirrel hunting in the bush here. So, yeah, and I'm just going to be walking around and showing you guys. So, yeah, let's go. Just got up. Lots of spruce trees in here, which the squirrels like, so. Just hold on a sec. It's hard to get myself ready here. Okay. I got my uh, 22 caliber with me here today. So, yeah. Gotta load it. I'll show it to you guys. There it is. Nice. So let's go. If I see one that's like couple meters up in the tree I'll see if I can hit him or not oh we got some deer poo there I might uh I might if I if I've been seeing a lot of squirrels and having a lot of activity of squirrels I might stay over and I might just sleep here tonight just settle down and take a nap and yeah so I'm just gonna load it here so I'm just gonna find a place to put the camera you just twist that there just pull it get a pill it There's one now, squirrel. It's got a pump it because it's a pump. Pump it about six times. go. Put the pellet in. There we go. And just click it onto a safety. And there, it's all loaded up. Off zoom there. Let's go. I don't know which trail I should take. Looks way different in here in the summertime, believe me. I'll go this way. Follow the deer trail, don't make her own trail because usually the deer know where to go because they're a lot smarter and can hear a lot better than you can. And if I see a rabbit, I'll maybe shoot one of them. When I was in here in the summertime, 
I uh, shot at a squirrel and I am. Um, I just grazed him. He fell out of the tree. He was about, about that high, a couple of meters, about uh, five, six meters. And he fell out of the tree and I searched for about three hours looking for him in the bush that he fell in. So, yeah, I didn't find him, but I knew he, he must have ran off. Ooh. Is that a deer scrape? No, that's from squirrel. Oh yeah, you can see his track. His tracks right there. There's gotta be a couple of them. A couple of squirrels in here. Oh no. Or is it deer? Yeah, that's a... Oh no, yeah, it's a squirrel. Tried to dig a hole there. Tried to dig a burrow. Feeding station. So if you see ripped up um, uh, pine cones, you know there's been a squirrel around. There's my binos here. Here they are. And let's just keep going. Okay, I'm back and the temperature has uh, rose up and the winds are starting to get much heavier now and I'm just going this way, still hunting squirrels. And uh, I didn't get this on tape, but I saw a rabbit run across my trail and I tried to get it on tape, but it just was running too quick, so sorry about that. And the temperature has uh, dropped. There's one. There's a squirrel. I hear him. It's over in that direction. I see him. I got him. Up in that. Right in there. You can see the snow falling. I'm trying to take a shot at him. Take it off safety. <laughs> Got him in my sight. Hit him. <laughs> this is what rabbits like. This kind of stuff. Yeah, back to that. I don't see him. I missed him. Hmm. Still up there? I saw something big fall, did you? No, he ain't around. I better reload my gun. By rabbit right here. Rabbit hole. Better reload my gun.
six, seven. Might as well pump it up seven cents. Maybe stick the pellet in there. Push it in. Click it on safety. And I'm off. Grab a hole down there. Right in there. You like this kind of stuff, like this. It's kind of, there's a bit too much snow, but they have, they could have trails all through here. And they run around and... I think I found them everywhere else. And then if you see one, and it's running in your trail, in your path, you just whistle, and if it stands up, you just, boom, you could hit it if you want. See, if there wasn't that much snow, this is what it would look like. There's one of their burrows. Let's see if I can chase one out. I don't think there's anything in there. No, it's just deep snow. Squirrel trail. What was that? That sounded, sounded big and close. Holy cow. No, I wouldn't want to run into a bull moose. That wouldn't be too good, especially in November or December. It's uh, March 4th right now. It is about four o'clock. Do you hear that? Sounds like a door squeaking. It's not a kind of, kind of sound rabbit makes. When there's danger, they go with their teeth and they go. They make a sound with their teeth and they make a kind of sound and it's like they push their teeth like this, like that, and they go like that. I don't I haven't seen one do it, but in real life I haven't, but I think it's just the trees. What the hell is that? Who's making that uh, uh, kind of like a door sound? And boom! Heard this huge sound. Kind of, it sounded like a gunshot, but it sounded like really close. I know it wasn't my gun because my gun's an airsoft. Holy oh, cow! That was freaking scary. Okay, I'm back again, and I just think I'm just gonna sit down and chill somewhere for the night. Or just for right now. Let's just make a base camp and try to get a fire going. If I can. 
I'm trying to kind of like, I'm not trying to have the easy way out and make it with, start, if I can start a fire. I'm gonna try and start it with um, two um, flame rocks that you use and then it makes sparks. It's the two easiest kind of rocks that you can use to start a fire. Oh, what's this? It's a tree stand. Someone else must have been hunting in here. I swear this isn't mine because it's a it's all wrecked. You can see where they can sit. Yeah, that's sort of two of them. One there and then the middle board. The middle board right there is gone. Someone would have sat there. And those would have been the steps. Maybe. I don't know, but that's what it looks like to me. And those would have been the steps and that guy said would have sat right there and they would have sat and they would have hunt for whatever they were hunting for. It's pretty old so I don't think they would be using it now. Yeah, another squirrel's feeding station. Could be sitting on that. That old spruce. I think it should sit here between these sprucies. These spruce trees. I could just put set the camera down right there. Set my gun right there. Yeah, the squirrel mode have sat right here. some flat for the camera. And you can use a old spruce branch and kind of like a broom. Hey, look at this. Holy cow. It's a, something dead. Right on. Let's bring the camera here. Bone to something. Because last winter was brutal. Must have been dead deer because the moose would be able to get around in this deep snow. It's got to be a deer. Maybe I can find the skull. One. Could be the jaw. Leg bone. Here's one. That could be the backbone. That's got to be the backbone. Another one. These are all real bones. Thing of bones, that's a good find, holy. Oh, found another one. A jawbone. That's not a 
bone. I just mushroom. Old mushroom. Didn't. <clears throat> well, at least I got my area. Uh, sat down. Found those bones. That's a good find. Holy. Yeah, lots of squirrel activity. Under these spruce trees and feeding stations. So that's a good sign. And I can just lay down on that just for now as a cushion. Try and get a fire going if I can. If I can't, then that's okay. Not that big of a deal. Yeah, the skidoos driving around the outside of me. They're just driving around. These bones are cool. I don't know if bones burn, but they could. I could just make the fi a fire pit out of them. work for a fire pit. I can just sit on that and chill. If I see a squirrel and he pops up in one of these trees, I'll see if I can blast him. I'll come back in a little while. I'm actually kind of pooped. I'll just light here for now. I'll go collect some firewood. Just around here because uh, all this stuff's good. So. Got some already. Here's a squirrel over there. Somewhere over there. Got most of my firewood and then I could just use that if I don't need it. So yeah.